to week 20, which marks the halfway point of pregnancy. This week, your little sweetie is the size of a sweet potato at just over six and a half inches from crown to rump and about 10 ounces in weight. If you didn't already find out the sex of your baby from a blood test back in the first trimester, you're far enough along for an ultrasound to deliver the definitive news, if you choose. If you have a boy on board, his testicles have begun their descent from the abdomen, and in a few months, they'll drop into the scrotum, which is still under construction. If you're carrying a girl, her external genitals may not be as prominent as a boy's, but they are clearly delineated. And inside your little girl's body is a fully formed uterus in miniature. Her tiny ovaries contain the millions of eggs she'll be born with, and her vaginal canal is starting to develop. Luckily for your tiny dancer, there's still plenty of room in your womb for twisting, turning, kicking, punching, and even an occasional somersault. If you haven't felt those acrobatics yet, you almost certainly will in the coming weeks. By now, you may be experiencing some of the fringe benefits of pregnancy, including thicker, fuller hair and stronger, faster growing nails. You can thank your pregnancy hormones, which trigger a surge in circulation that brings extra nutrients to hair and nail cells. Finding a little fur on your belly or your chin or other places you might not normally sport hair that's normal too, and happily temporary. 